Tired of plain dashboards? Want to instantly show trends with just a glance? Let's turn your Power BI reports into intuitive, amazing, emoji-filled reports. Whether you're building executive reports or reports for your team, utilizing emojis to showcase how that data is doing, it's going to make it that much more legible for everyone involved. So we're going to be in a Power BI report today. You can click the link below to get this report if you want to click around with the same one or just use one that you are working on that you want a little bit of emoji magic in. Here on my report, I have a profit column and now looking at the profit column on my table, right? I have it ranked in profit so I can see here's the best, here's the worst, right? I can see how that is doing. What if as I'm looking at these numbers at a glance, what is okay? What is decent, right? That is where conditional formatting comes in. I'm going to go ahead and add some to this table visual. And to do conditional formatting, all I need to do is select the visual and then go to the field on that visual that you want to change. For me, I want to add conditional formatting related to the profit. I'm going to come over to my visualization pane. I'm going to come down to where I see profit in my column section. And when you click that drop down arrow, you will have conditional formatting. Now we have some default options. We've got background color, font color, data bars, and we also have icons. Let me just run you through those. If you've never used conditional formatting and you want to see what those look like, background color, that allows you to change the cell color. And you have the options to change that by the gradient, by rules or field rules. Now you're able to set this just by the default value and say, all right, my lowest value, generally, right? Most people would think that's bad, right? We want it to be high. So my high value, that's going to be green. You can even add like a middle color, right? If you want that transition to look a little bit cleaner between those colors. And then all you have to do is hit OK. And there we go. It's immediately ranking them just looking at the numbers we have. Now you can get more specific in your conditional formatting and go through and set the exact numbers that you think make something good or better, right? So it should fall in a category or not. Now, just like we set for the background colors, you can also do the same thing and set your text colors. Again, in your conditional formatting, you can also remove this, right? I probably wouldn't have the background color and the text color both set. It would be competing and maybe a little difficult to read, but you can also remove any conditional formatting if you don't want that any longer and reset it, right? You can do the exact same process, let's say for font colors. Now, another feature that I like to showcase is data bars. And this shows essentially a bar chart inside of your visual. Again, you set that up the exact same way where we pick our style, we apply to the values, it's already working off a of profit. We can decide our bar goes left to right, right to left. We can decide if we want it to be lowest value or custom, right? Where you're setting, okay, when it reaches 100,000, that's good. Whatever you want to put in place. And again, you get to decide what's positive, negative access. And there you have a visual, like you have a bar chart built in to the table. Let's click this one off. And finally, we have icons. We also have icons. So looking in our conditional formatting into our icons, you'll see that we can set up this logic to control what the icons look like. And now why would you use icons versus text? Not everyone can easily see or distinguish between red and yellow and green, especially. With our icon sets, you can see we've got a fair amount, but it is kind of limited. Now, I would highly suggest instead of using ones that are just all the same colors, you have ones that are tied with icons that are instinctively positive or negative, right? No matter what color they are. So if someone can see the colors, right, they can immediately identify the red. So we have these default ones built in that you're easily able to utilize and then again, have those included in with that text so you can see that. These options are great. I like them, but I want a little bit more control, right? The arrows are a little bit boring. I want a little bit more pizzazz going on inside of here. Let's now see how we can bring emojis in as icons instead. Now, another feature that you're able to utilize for your conditional formatting is using DAX to explicitly bring in some logic around what is good, what's bad, right? All of those different levels you can set with a DAX measure. I've already written that to make it easier for us. And I have this formatting measure written. 
with this, I brought in, based on my values, We've got some of those fun faces. And the cool part with emojis is you can use whatever emojis you would like. Just keep it clear so your end user can understand if this is a good emoji, a bad emoji, an okay one, right? Where are we ranking these at? Now, to bring an emoji in, right? If I wanted to change these, right? Maybe instead of this red heart, I want to change that emoji. All you need to do is push the Windows key on your keyboard and the period. So Windows period pulls up a menu of all of the emojis that you can utilize. You do need to put this into quotes because of reading it as text, but you can see we have all of these different options that you can bring in. If you don't like looking through this paint, you also can just copy and paste, right? You can Google different emojis and pull in the specific emoji that you would like to use and just paste that in. Again, do not forget those quotes that go around it. Let's say I want to have a very happy, overjoyed face, right? I'm going to use this star one and that way it's going to show, right? If my profit is over a million, fantastic star eyes. If it's less than 5,000, again, with our switch logic, this is just like nested ifs where, right, that top number is setting the floor and then we're moving down below that. So as long as it's first pass roll and it goes through and anything that's over a million, it's going to immediately assign that. Then it's going to go to the next one, right? If it doesn't hit that bucket, doesn't hit a million, then it's going to say, okay, cool. Is it over 50,000? If it's over 50,000, but lower than a million, we're going to get this mm, face. And then anything else gets the kind of sad face. I also have wrapped in here, right, if profit is showing up as a blank to just showcase a blank too. So depending on where this measure gets used in formatting, right, I don't want to then force additional data to show up if there is nothing there for that data. So I like to kind of cover that just to make sure, right, if we don't have any values that we're not forcing a value to appear because Power BI, right, by default, it will show a blank. If nothing is for that, we might force values in for this and I don't want to do that. I'll hit the check mark to make sure this runs. Let me show you how you can utilize this. Well, unfortunately, you can't pull emojis into the conditional formatting logic in here, right? I couldn't go into icons and have it look to my measure instead. You can do that for font colors and for background colors where you're pointing to, hey, change the color based on this logic. However, unfortunately, you can't pull the emoji in. So here's how I do that. I simply, for my visual, bring that in to the actual visual. So I'm going to grab my formatting measure, drop that right next to the number column that it's related to. And there we go. We can see exactly our emojis. To make this a little bit more intuitive, a little bit more look included, right? Because we can see here's the conditional formatting one. Then here's the one that we set. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my column header here because I don't want this to say formatting. I want to just be blank. It's super easy. You can also just get rid of this and put a space in there. It can be a little bit confusing for screen readers, but you can also go into your paintbrush, your formatting, come to your specific column and then choose formatting. I'm going to have this apply to my header and my total. And then we can decide how do we want this to appear. I'm going to have turn off the values because I'm going to turn my text color to white. So that way it just gets rid of your header. And we can see, right, that is showing up a little bit more intuitive. I know with this formatting, I probably also want to go over to my profit and get rid of that additional conditional formatting. So it's a little bit more streamlined to just showcase that profit. This is also really nice because, right, let's say I wanted to filter my data to sort it alphabetically instead of by the profit. Now, when it's all kind of like jumbled up, I can see really easily still at a glance exactly what I want to see. Now again, whether you're using emojis, whether you want to stick with the icon stuck in your regular conditional formatting or with your text formatting or your background formatting, just keep in mind those colors really need to be clear. So if you are referring to colors alone for your conditional formatting, a large chunk of your audience could be missing out. Also, if you're not clear, let's say you're not going with a red or a green and you're doing maybe light blue to dark blue. If you're not clear on what's the good number, what's the bad number, your conditional formatting isn't going to help you out. So emojis can definitely make it much more clear and also much more fun. There's lots of other ways you're able to include emojis into your reports. If you want another video on that, let me know. But I would also suggest checking out here on our YouTube channel. We've got a video about using GIFs in your Power BI reports. Of course, for more visualization tips, 
definitely, and especially if you want to get more into using DAX to control elements of your visual, check out our advanced visualization class over on our on-demand learning platform. You can always use code ALLISON40 to take 40% off if you sign up for an annual membership over there. So let me know in the comments, where do you use emojis in your Power BI reports? Is your job fun enough to feature them? And also, if you do it in other ways, let me know in those comments because I would love to see some other use cases. And I will hopefully see you in another training sometime soon. Thank <laughs> you.